Hello everybody, so this is Aquafortis of Aquafortis Astrology and today I wanted to talk a bit about Mars and Leo that is going to accompany us for all summer. So Mars is going to be um, in Leo from the 20th of July 2017 and he's going to enter at 12.19 UTC GMT time. So for Rome time it would be 14.19. And he will be staying there up to the 5th of September 2017, and up to the day the Mercury return direct. So what is it all about? So the basics is that Mars is the red planet in the sky, and only from that we can just understand what it's going to be about. He's the Lord of Action. He's the right hand of the Sun. No Mars, no action. He thrives on competition, he thrives on protecting things, of overcoming limits, of breaking away, of passions. Without Mars, we wouldn't have any passion. It, taken to a scream, Mars can become violent. It's war, it's aggressiveness, it's uncontrolled anger. Mars is hot and dry. He inflames our passions, but he even drives our, dries our emotions and dries our compassion. He is our blood, he is our adrenal glands, he is our immune system. So what about Mars and Leo? It's like fire meets fire. So Leo is a daytime, outward going energy, it's fixed, it's concentrating and it's fire energy of midsummer. So it's like putting a magnifying lens in between the sun and something and you're going to have a focused intense heat. Leo is the king and queen, it's the noble and regal, it's the flame in our heart, it's the dramaticness of being special and unique and being appreciated for it. It is the fire of our passions for our uniqueness, for our unique genius. It is our inner child, it's our eternal creativeness. Mars and Leo is a one-man show. It is the center of attraction, of glamour and all things charming. It is, I want the stage, I want it now and by heavens I'm going to get it and be on it. And you are going to appreciate it for me. So what's wrong about that? Well, nothing really. It's just that Mars is not going to be alone in Leo. Mars is going to be with the Sun up till the 23rd of August 2017 when the Sun will go in Virgo. He will be even with Mercury, our way of thinking, on and off because there will be a Mercury retrograde until the 5th of September 2017. We have Venus as well with, uh, in Leo from the 26th of August 2017 until the 5th of September 2017 when Mars will move out of Leo. In the meantime, if that is not enough, we have Saturn and Sagittarius and Uranus in Aries. Both in fire signs, so we have the Lord of the Limits and of Order um, having to say a meeting as well, Uranus, the Lord of Change of unexpectedness of chaos in areas, fire sign. So we have in the sky a continual fire trine. That is, each of these planets are going to enhance each other's virtues and not so-called virtues. It's a closed circuit and, and we can't break it. What else? Mars and the Sun have been traveling together um, since they were in Cancer, so nothing wrong about that. It's the, Mars is the right hand, right hand person of the, of the Sun, it's the assertiveness behind the creative potential. But we have been seeing the tempers flaring a little bit and we, especially here in Italy, in Austria, we have been seeing fire everywhere. Fire, things catching fire and people giving fire to everything. It, the problem is that Mars 
is being burnt down by the Sun since mid-July. So what does that mean? So Mars has been traveling with the Sun within 8 degrees something. And that in traditional astrology means that he's combust, just by the word combust, right? <laughs> it means that Mars, he's not getting the limelight he wants. He, this is not a constructive Mars. This is a Mars that he's trying continually to prove himself of what he's made of, but he's feeling he's failing miserably. Now, moving in Leo, this will amp up even further. He is desperate and he needs special attention, not only because he's in Leo, but he, because just now he's a planet that needs our attention so that we can use it more constructively. Plus, if that was not enough, we have two eclipses that's going to happen in August on the Leo Aquarius axis. So, wow, this Mars is being gassed and forged in fire in many ways. So it's very easy that Mars is going to lose his temper and we are going to lose our temper and other people are going to lose their temper. So what are, be, are we being asked collectively? We are being asked, actually we are being forged in fire, we are burning away what is not needed anymore, we are being asked to step up but with dignity, we are being asked to be passionate but without being dominating, we are also being asked to see where we are hot-headed, where we are rash, impulsive, violent, fanatical about our views. Anyone? Excess fire leads to loss of water, which means we have less empathy to share with others and to share the feeling of others. Fire is passionate, but we can't say they are very empathic. Mars and Leo can lead to problems with the heart, metaphorically and physically. Because the heart, the heart is so on fire that it can't feel anymore. So it's not a, a compassionate heart if, if taken to extremes. It's high blood pressure. It's when we can't take it anymore. It's the back injuries where we can't, we metaphorically and physically, where we feel we are not supported in what we need to do, or actually because we are too rushed and we go and bang somewhere. High fevers is Mars and Leo as well. So what's the antidote? The antidote is water. Because having empathy and feeling for others will quench a bit the fire. Drink water, go swimming, uh, but avoid the hot hours, cold showers, relaxing music, eat sweet and moist uh, food, fruit, raw vegetables, wear green or blue, use blue and green crystals or put on blue or green light, drain the liver so that the anger can be quenched. But the greatest antidote of all is use your Mars. That's my cat saying his, his assertiveness. Use your Mars or else your, your Mars will consume you. You will get combust. It's like a dog, not taking him out. Not good. So give your Mars something to do. An idle Mars, it's the worst thing. Because he will get desperate. And he's already desperate. And since he's in Leo, be creative. Play. Enjoy life. Be courageous to be yourself, but always in respect to others. So it's going to be a hot summer, really a hot summer, that we will be remembering for some, for some time. Take care, and if you like my videos, please subscribe, share. I appreciate uh, any shares, any thumbs up, whatever. Hope you enjoy, and I appreciate any feedback. Take care, bye-bye for now, bye-bye.